What comes to mind when I say the draw? Draw. No. I'll, I'll draw you a bath. Not that. Drawing conclusions. How about no? In rowing, the draw is the process of slipping the boat underneath the momentum of your body weight in order to accelerate through the recovery and into the placement. So if you still believe in quick hands away and floating the slide, then you have got to see this one. Hey, this is Infinite Rowing, and as you know, we are all about efficiency and free speed and have absolutely no problem poking little holes in conventional thinking, especially if it's a little bit um, old fashioned. I'm going to explain how we believe the draw works and how it should be done. Stick around for the exercise at the end so that you can get a feeling for it too. So you have completed the drive giving the system of boat and rower as much inertia as you can for that particular stroke. You have let go of the water by slipping the blade out of the vortex in a rolled extraction. Everything you do from this point until the start of the next drive needs to be about maintaining the run and preserving if not increasing boat speed. The first thing that you need to do is very little. Definitely no jerky or sudden movements like quick hands away. Allow the boat to breathe into that weightless part of the stroke as it runs. Allow your hands to move away with soft arms and low shoulders. Soften the knee and think only about rocking your pelvis into positive flexion. Feel the weight move from the back of the seat onto the front of the seat and allow that movement to inform your upper body on where it needs to be, rather than any active thoughts of rocking your body over. Even during this part of the recovery, the mindset should be to move the boat in the direction of travel. As the boat speed starts to drop off, counter this by pulling the boat progressively underneath you with your heels against the back of the shoes. Keep your weight mostly in the seat as you scoop the hull underneath your center of gravity. The aim is to accelerate the boat into the placement. So why do you want to do this? From the time that you let go of the water in the extraction, if you were to do nothing, the boat would decelerate progressively until it came to rest. In fact, as it decelerates, it sinks deeper into the water, compounding the deceleration. We want to preserve boat speed to minimize this, which is why we want to progressively accelerate the draw into the placement. This is the best way to make use of the momentum you have generated with your body weight during the drive, and also reduces the amount of time that the boat spends trimming with the stern down. This way the boat really moves fastest during the recovery. But, I hear some of you say, if you're going to accelerate the boat into the placement, aren't you going to increase the check when you land on the footplate? This is just not true. And let me prove it to you. I'm going to pull the boat aggressively towards myself. And let's see if there's any check when I land. For the purposes of this, I am going to exaggerate the draw. The way it should be executed is a flowing acceleration through the recovery. What witchcraft is this? The boat continues to run as it did before I landed. You only check the boat when you reverse the direction of your body and start driving before you've established connection. Try this exercise. We all know that power is what people use to cover up bad technique. So take all the power off and focus just on the draw. Allow the boat to just move through the drive Slip the blade out, pull the boat towards you as aggressively as you can, make the placement as gently as you can, and repeat. You will be surprised at how much boat speed you start generating just using the draw. 
Once you want to start bringing the power back up, start by only doing so for the second half of the drive. Keep the placement gentle and don't climb onto the front end. Once you have this working well, start bringing the power on earlier and earlier until you are taking a normal stroke. Perfecting the draw will change the way you row in a very positive way. I'll draw. Let's draw. We want you to start changing the way you think about moving the boat rather than moving your body. Maintaining boat speed in order to minimize resistance on the hull and smoothly transitioning between the sequences of the recovery. Once you've done that, you can start worrying about making the perfect placement, but that's a subject for another video.